And my name is Jesse McClure. I'm from the show Storage Hunters, currently airing on Dave. And I'm here in the UK, hanging out with fans, having a good time. I'm James Beattie, manager of uh, Accrington Stanley uh, in League Two in England. But James, the question is, are you a better player or a better manager? Um, I don't know. After this season's performance, I think some might say a better manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, nothing will substitute playing. But yeah. uh, this season's given me a, a different angle on things and a, a different way to look at things. And... Uh, it's uh, certainly uh, an experience and hopefully next year we can get off to a better start than we did this year. And it's certainly though, you have to have those moments where you know, you're in the middle of a match and you're just like, forget it, I'm going in. And you just run in there, right? Um, I don't know, I suppose, I suppose there is slight moments of that, but uh, there was a, a good lesson that I learned from a manager when I was playing. He thought he was better than the players, which he, he was in his day. Um, and he made, a, he made a show of a few of the senior players in the session and from that moment on his, his time was, uh, his, his days were numbered at the club and uh, I always vouched for me, to myself that I would never do that. Um, even if you think it, you know, the lads are there and, and they're, they're at the ability level they are and, and as I said to him, you know, on a number of occasions this season, they were the reason I took the job. So, um, they were the... It, it, it always has and always will be about the players. So when, how did you get into uh, Storage Hunters and, and get into the showbiz side of things? Sure. Um, I started out uh, 12 years old. My family owns an antique mall in Los Angeles. It's funny because I say uh, it's the fifth oldest in Los Angeles, which is a big deal over here, over there. But here, people just laugh at me because you guys have a little bit of older history than we do. So I say, 1979, top five oldest. Everyone laughs at me because I go down to the pubs like, been here since 18 whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's been, you know, and, and obviously your team's been around like one of the first ones, right? Yeah, it was the founder of the football league. Yeah, which is crazy. Um, and then the whole showbiz thing, I had no desire to be an actor. I don't want to be an actor. I don't have the ego to be an actor, but uh, they approached me uh, when I was at an auction and naturally, uh, I guess I felt fit the mold as the bad guy. So I, I do have a knack and a love for pushing buttons and no annoying people. Uh, people who deserve it. So I feel like I do a pretty good job doing or being that, honest. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> are you a bad guy or are you a good guy? Um you like you like checking people well I, I I'm a hockey guy, so do you like checking people, taking people out? I suppose yeah. Um I I, I always used to play the game in my opinion, uh, hard but fair. Sure. Um but there was always times where you needed to take the center off down a peg or two and, yeah. and do something a little bit naughty. But um, you know, with the amount of cameras that are on games these days, you can't get away with you it. You can't anymore. get away with so that so much. We're becoming a, a bit of an extinct animal. Um, but uh, there was the centre forwards era before me. They were especially naughty, and, and the centre halves were as well. <laughs> See, I, I like that hard but fair because I I played maybe three games of of soccer football. Um, back where I was, but I played hard but fair, but the way I was playing fair, I was playing by the wrong rules, because that being a hockey guy. So I was playing hockey rules, playing football, yeah. um, checking people, you know, and trying to start fights, stuff of that nature, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I even tried buying, bringing a hockey stick out onto uh, the pitch. Um, that didn't go over so well, so no. I had a very uh, short-lived uh, football career, but um, I like the hard but fair. I just wish there was a little more uh, checking and fighting yeah. and probably, well, it's good that you know, you probably have more teeth in, in, in football than back in the hockey. Yeah. But I do like the entertainment though when they when they push the gloves off and oh, just yeah. go for it. Oh yeah, it's I've, like, I've seen a bit on YouTube where the whole team. Like, is there like seven players or yeah, and they just all go like that at the same time. Oh yeah, just kick off. clearing that's the brilliant. benches. That's yeah, it, yeah, full brawl, full team brawl, and that's the great thing I love about hockey is. You know, when you fight in hockey, you get a five-minute timeout in the corner. But other sports, it's like, you're out of the game for life or, you know, you're out for ten games or whatever like that. But, you know, I actually went to my first game. It was uh, Stoke versus Tottenham. Um, they didn't win. Stoke didn't win. I wish they would have scored more goals. But the intensity, I can imagine when you're out there, yeah. the crowds are so loud. Was that at the Britannia? Yeah. Yeah. That, that got voted the... Uh 
the Stoke fans got voted the loudest in the country. And it felt like it. Yeah. There was tw it over 27,000 people there mm -hmm. doing their chants and stuff like that. That's the great thing I like about being here um, as opposed to back home is uh, the intensity of the crowd relies so solely on the game. Where here, it doesn't matter if your team's down 10-0 or they're winning 10, yeah. 10 nothing. They're still intense, still crazy. Yeah. And then if you do one thing wrong, oh boy. I know, you must have had a ton of chance. You did something great, you're a hero. You did yeah. one thing wrong and you get booed hardcore on. Yeah, that's true. Oh God, that has to get in your head though, right? Um, so why, why do you think the media are taking such an interest uh, in the UK, in, in yourself? You know, I'm actually still trying to figure that out myself. But I think what it is, is people just love the banter, you know, when we're interacting with one another, the other cast members, you know, uh, seeing what's inside the surprises, you know, something being covered and then releasing it, having a reaction and then commercial break. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I have to watch this. What is it? What is under the thing? Yeah. So you have that intensity of people, you know, putting them on the edge of their seat. But then also they like seeing people who deserve to get beat up, get beat up. Or at least I like to think so because I like delivering that. Come back to your hockey. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's It's in my roots, so I naturally like uh, pushing buttons and uh, making people really, really upset. So I think it naturally fits in. People like seeing stuff when they get home from work, you know, or they're hungover. They just want to see some mindless, good, fun entertainment. So I think it fits the bill perfectly. So James, your team survived. Still in the league, right? So, what is uh, some plans for next season moving forward? Um, well, we've we've already started uh, looking into recruiting for for next season. Um, I think recruitment uh, is probably ninety five percent of what success you are going to have, whatever that may be, whatever level. And um, we've got one more game left this season, which I want to give the lads a good send off and and the fans uh, because. After all, they deserve it because we, we got off to a terrible start. We had four points after 12 games and then uh, the recovery they've made is, you know, since since the 4th of October or the 12th of October when we won our first game. If the league would have started on that date, we would have been seventh in the league. Um, so barring any, any sort of different start to what we had, we'd, we'd have been in and around the playoffs, uh, which I think is incredible uh, for a squad that size that we have and for the budget uh, for the players, for the playing budget that we have. So I'll have to, um, we'll get the, the game on, on Saturday out of the way, uh, try and finish as high as we can in the league. We'll be going to win the game, obviously. And uh, and then I've talked the chairman into taking the lads away. Um, they're going to Spain for a few days to let the hair down. Nice. Um, I twisted his arm up his back and nearly tombstoned him and he agreed. <laughs> American <laughs> so style. That's it. <laughs> and... Um, no, but he's been he's been great all season as well. The chairman, he's uh, he's um, you know probably funded the club on his own, and uh, we'll we'll talk about next season going forward and and what that entails when we get this season out of the way. But as I say, the lads have done incredible, and the recovery's been amazing from them. They they stuck to what they believed in, and they believed in what I was saying uh, as well as myself. I believed in it, and um, it's been it's been a, a very up and down journey but we've got there and uh, I think it's incredible for the town and for the team and for the whole club. But you feel do you feel like you're satisfied with what you've accomplished so far with the team? Um overall uh, yes, I would say so because uh after the first four games when uh, 12 games when we have four points, sorry. Probably the whole country wrote us off and uh, that's been one of the things um through my career doing doing things that people say you can't do is the best feeling in the world. Sure. And now um, all these guys can, can hold their heads up and to all them people that doubted them, then they can, uh, you know what they can do. Um, so I, I just I just think that for them it's been brilliant. It's been a journey for them and for myself personally. And uh, I'm looking forward to next year. Awesome. Does that mean you'll definitely be at Accrington Stanley next year? I'm contracted to Accrington Stanley for uh, another season, and um, I'm sure that the, you know, the chairman will uh, will we'll sit down and talk about that, and uh, we'll see we'll see what's happening. But uh, as I said to you, I've I've started preparing, uh, started the recruitment process, looking at other players. I've got players coming in on trial, even before the you know the, the season's ended. Um, players that are out of contract in the summer from other clubs, 
and uh, I believe that that's the the most professional way to approach it. And sure. I'll I'll do uh, I'll do everything I can to make sure that next season is uh, is an improvement on this. So what does he what does the future hold for for Jesse? What's the uh, what's the uh, sort of natural progression from here? Sure. Well, with the success of Storage Hunters now, I'm hoping that we can get a lot more episodes over here and a little bit quicker because I know you guys have a little bit of a delay. So when we film episodes, you usually get them somewhere between 10 and 20 years, it feels like. Really, <laughs> you know, so uh, I'm hoping uh, I got some meetings set up that uh, we'll be able to work on some brand new projects specifically for the UK. Mm. So uh, we can have a lot more new shows, new content, maybe, maybe just me, maybe some of the other cast members. And hopefully bring a lot more content that people will enjoy. And that, would you and would you enjoy going into like the, as you say, the like the older stuff? Like oh the yeah, really old stuff. Like oh yeah, like absolutely. Well, history. that that's the thing is that's my bread and butter is the antiques. Yeah. Whether the antiques, I guess California antiques is maybe forty years ago and before, as opposed to here where it's hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm. But that's exactly what I want, I want to be a part yeah. of. So I think that that's right down my alley. And I think with my character and uh, the personality and the way it molds with people's humor um, over here, I think it'd be a natural fit to set up something where we can just be out here, you know, buy stuff throughout the entire country, put it in a sea container and send it back to California to sell. I think that'd be something great that we could potentially do. So I look forward, hopefully we can get some more stuff going. Um, Store First have been our, our main sponsor for, for two years now. Um, we've, agreed, we've agreed for them to go into the third year. And the, these new stores, we're here in Preston today, these new stores are popping up all over the country. And uh, it's nice that they've invited you over to, uh, to yeah. open this store. You know, you know, James, I've been here like 20, 30 minutes. And from the little bit I've seen, it is a fantastic facility. Just the cleanliness and the professionalism alone beats out 99.999% of all other facilities back in the States. So I think with this new store opening in Preston, people are really going to be impressed today. So I really look forward to being a part of it, and hopefully we'll have a great day today. Thanks, Store First TV. Goodbye. Store First TV, see ya.